up. I thought that was just exactly what our football team needed. A tough, gritty, hard-fought win against a uh, conference, a division opponent. And uh, we needed to be in a tough game like that. Games like that build character. Games like that show you that you can get in games like that and win. And so uh, I'm proud of the way our guys bounced back from a tough loss last week. Uh, they had a great week of practice. And they came today and, and played a really good team, a really physical team, and we matched them, you know, hit for hit. And we were, we were fortunate to get them on there. But that's a, that's a good football team, and that was the kind of game we needed. James Allen, AMA 30. Um, were you happy the way the, the way the defense ended the game? It seemed like, you know, they were them but don't break and they scored the last touchdown. So were you happy with the way they finished? No, I'm, <laughs> I was happy with the last play when we, you know, got, got up. You're talking about the, the touchdown drive. Right, that drive. Yeah, that, that drive's disappointing. You know, you'd like to be able to uh, just end it without giving up a touchdown when you play as well as you have. But I think you also have to give the other team credit for making plays. You know, they that's a team that, that doesn't give up, that Utah team, and they fight hard. But uh, what we'll do is we'll go back and look at the film and correct any errors that we have. Uh, I think it's an opportunity to, to impress upon our, our young men how important it is to stay focused for an entire game. You know, so, uh, you know, we're still, we're still growing, we're still learning, we're still a, a developing team, even though we're seven games in, you know, we're a young team. And so games like that, I think, could be great lessons for you. Um, obviously, there were two big uh, special teams errors, um, the man for a punt and then the uh, little sweet thing. Uh, what was your reaction when those happened, and how do you get that corrected this week? Well, the Stephen Manfred thing, I mean, that guy just bombed that thing. I mean, I, that was a bomb. And Stephen was looking right up into the sun. And he made an error in judgment. And he'll be the first one to tell you that. He should just let it go. You know, it was a tough catch, and he shouldn't have tried to make it. Um, the last one, that we call that bleed punt. And we told the, the fellas on the sideline, you know, just let the official blow the whistle, and then we pick it up and hand it to you. And I think that Logan just made an instinctive play. It just bounced to him, and he grabbed it. And he, I apologize. You wish that hadn't happened, but uh, once again it did. And it, here's what it did: it gave us a chance to teach off of it, and it gave us a chance to go out and defend that fast break play at the end and, and learn from that too. So try to eliminate them, but learn from them if they happen. Talk about Brett's ability to scramble and kind of uh, keep plays alive. But... Today he made a major step in my mind in terms of uh, demonstrating his mobility as a quarterback. You know, I think that all of us that have been in practice have seen it a lot. But today, he, he just he tucked it and he ran uh, when he saw an opportunity to do that. And I think that's going to make him uh, more of a threat to defenses. You know, having a defensive background, I know how tough it is when you have to defend a quarterback that is effective throwing the ball and running, running it himself. And so uh, we want to encourage him to do that when it's appropriate. But it's got to be the right time. And today, I think he did it at the right times. Weren't you bored most of the afternoon? Excuse me? Weren't you bored most of the afternoon? No, I wasn't bored. You didn't find that to be a boring game? Uh, I don't know that I've coached a boring game in my life. Really? What was going on? I think on? when you love your job, it's not boring. Well, it can be boring, even when you love it. Is that a question? Well, it was a response to your statement. It does happen that way sometimes. What was happening with the offense that was making it necessary for Brett to Run when the game was running. Good, good coverage downfield. Uh, you know, probably the best front that we've seen so far. Um, you know, you saw that Jerry Johnson didn't play. You saw, you know, obviously Devin's not in. Obviously, Gary Spell's not in. So I think, you know, we had to kind of simplify some things, simplify some concepts. That's a veteran defense that learns as they go through the game. And playing with as many kids as we were. Young guys, I think at times I looked out there were seven freshmen on the field. You know, sometimes you're going to stall, but you got to be able to push through it. And I thought that we did today. It seemed like you, know, you guys were able to move the ball consistently in the first half. You know, they, they made an adjustment in the second half, and you guys didn't pretty much were a stalemate in my eyes. Uh, what was going on in the second half? Why were you guys weren't able to move the ball as you did in the first half? Well, I thought you know in the first half we we they did a good job as well. You know, we broke that long. So if you take that play out, I mean, there was, you know, there was some tough series in there for us. And I think that uh, you've got to recognize 
that that's a really good defensive football team. Uh, but like I said, you know, I, I don't want to use youth as an excuse, but I'll tell you that it is a reason for sometimes drive, drive stalling. You know? and, uh, but we've got to push through it, and we've got to continue to get better, and we, we can't lean on it as a crutch. But you're asking the question, that's a reason. The fourth and one in their red zone, that play worked out for you guys, but can you talk about your thought process and going for it there? Yeah, I looked, looked out at Jeff Baca, and he said, you know, he gave me one of those like offensive linemen do, we're going for it, and I said, we'll go for it. Not. I was encouraged that he did that, but I was going to go for it the whole way. I just felt like we were moving the ball, we were running the ball, we were having some success on that drive, and I thought that if we could get a first down and convert it into a score, it would be something that would help us down the line. So we got it. Thank, thank goodness. Jim, did uh, Simon Goins get dinged in the second half? Simon did. He, uh, Simon tweaked his knee. We don't know the extent of it. Uh, it's his left knee, and uh, I'm sure that we'll get, uh, get it evaluated later today and probably an MRI tomorrow. Jim, you guys uh, put up some big offensive numbers this season, and, and did you learn something about your team in this being able to pull out a game like this? Yeah, I, I think it's just these games are important. I mean, they may be. You know, not beautiful, and we may not have great stats, and uh, but there's something to win. You know, these these gut grinders, these tough ones. You know, especially when you're developing teams, especially when you're trying to, you know, figure out how to get in a tough game and pull it out and win. And there's just great, you know, these are great learning and growing opportunities. And so, uh, you know, every game is not going to be a blowout, and you've got to learn how to win these. And uh, so, it's a step in the right direction for us. What do you think of uh, Jordan Zimwalt inside the net? I don't know. I, I really, it's hard for me to tell without looking at the film. Uh, you know, things happen real fast if he's in the middle of the defense. But I didn't notice any glaring errors. I didn't notice any great plays. Uh, you know, it's something that he's done before. So, uh, you know, I think he probably feels pretty comfortable in there. But we'll just, I'll tell you how he did play the play. Uh, Coach, uh, two questions. Uh, Jerry was still the rib? Excuse me? Jerry, Jerry Johnson was still the rib? The receiver? Yes, sir. Jerry Johnson. Stiles, uh, okay, and then the other question was, uh, did, did Star Lotulale against uh, Jake Brenner, how did you think? It seemed like he was pretty quiet tonight. Was that? Well, you know what? They played a lot of even front. They're typically an, an odd front, and they played a lot more even front. So he was on X as much or more than he was on Jake. But I thought both of those guys did a good job. That guy is uh, a great football player. He'll be a top 10 pick in the NFL draft. That long drive you had to open the third quarter to go up 21-7. I think Franklin got the ball six of those 14 plays. Can you talk about his, I guess, consistency as, as a runner and the way to grind those drives like that? Sure. You know, you like to have the ball in his hands. Uh, he doesn't go down easy. He fights for extra yards. Uh, he takes care of the football. He takes great pride in getting the ball in those times. And, uh, you know, just his, his, his uh, intensity, his heart, the spirit, the way he runs. I mean, you know, look, your team feeds off of they like to see it. It energizes your sideline when a guy's just digging it out, especially a guy like Jonathan. You know, because everybody sees how hard he works during the week. Everybody knows that he was in this game very beat up. You know, didn't do a lot in practice this week, and yet he just keeps grinding it out. I think you have great respect for the kid. Jim, a uh, couple things. First of all, the first drive, you guys had to call a timeout on the last third play. What, second play. Second play. What, what was happening there? Brett, Brett called it. He tweaked his knee on the very first play of the game. And uh, then on that second play, it grabbed when he went to throw it. And he was trying to shake it out, and it just really bothered him. So we, we he used the timeout right there to try to gather himself. And the uh, second thing was uh, Devin Fuller didn't seem like he got his 20 plays. Was he okay? Yeah, he was. You know, that's a that's a goal of ours each week is to get him 20 plays, 15, 20, 25 plays. But uh, we didn't have as many snaps on offense tonight as we or today as we typically do. So uh, we still want to continue to work him in with Darius being out. And, and you know, I don't know if Darius will be back for Arizona State or not. But if he's not, uh, that gives uh, Devin a chance to get more and more work. He's looking more and more comfortable with that position. So we want to get him the ball. He's a playmaker. Coach, uh, to your left. Um, in, in a game where it's 14-7 going into the third quarter, do you find with such a young quarterback that you are instinctively going to Jonathan Franklin more? Or are you saying, no, I'm, I'm going to give my young quarterback and treat him just like he's a senior? You know what? We just play the game. We really do. We just play the game. And Noel just dials up plays. and. Uh, I mean, we like to have Jordan, Jonathan in there, and we like to have the ball in Jonathan's hands, but we just play the game. And, uh, 
you know, you'll see we'll rotate those backs through, rotate our receivers through. We kind of have to with the tempo that we try to go at. But today we were a little slower in tempo just because we were just trying to be a little bit more methodical and it was more of a, a grind it out game. But uh, but uh, we just call it the, call the offense. Any questions? Thank you. Have a great afternoon.